Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Man Profile. In today's video, we are all over the place, but my goodness, were we effective with our time today. From getting a perfect uh, gemstone of a very rare one that I kind of need to complete a whole set, from dropping some farming or garden RNG drops along the way, to maxing out a crop entirely, completing some bingo goals, we got a little bit of everything for you guys today. So if you're excited for today's video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, it helps out a ton. But without further ado, let's jump right into today's episode. Super quickly though, if you do ever find yourself checking on the high pixel store whether it be for an ongoing or upcoming fire sale maybe you just need some skyblock gems for some booster cookies or you find yourself picking up any of the seasonal bundles over at taylor's shop whatever it may be don't forget to use my career code on checkout it is code zach spelled just like my name z-a-c-h uh, if you use that on checkout you'll actually save five percent on your purchase it's an amazing way to support myself and the channel it allows me to keep doing what i'm doing so if you guys like the episodes it's like the best thing you guys can do to help out so uh, i do greatly appreciate it but without further ado let's jump right into today's video i was just chilling in, in the hub and um this is this is something dude it, it's literally a slideshow of bonzo steps look at all the people up there doing this that is not okay just aiming at the carnival like what is going on it's going so slow i've never seen this before this is genuinely insane um it looks pretty cool but like Dude, this lobby has, like, no FPS, so this looks ridiculous, um, but yeah, so, interesting stuff going on, some shenanigans for the carnival, if you look at the zombie shootout scores, but, hey, this looks pretty cool, I can't lie. So, luckily, at the time I'm recording this, Squid is streaming, and, uh, yeah, he was doing, the, he got someone to do some bingo runs for us, so we did an entrance run, then we did a floor one, and luckily I did reach my milestone, so I could open the obsidian chest, which completed the whole row and those two goals, so... We got the dungeon ones out of the way, which is super nice. All that's left is the pets and uh, the collections. And um, yeah, that's basically it. So we're in a really good spot. This whole column is now done. Somehow Squid didn't reach milestone one. So he's getting a carry on another floor one right now, which is, I don't know why I find that so funny, but either way, glad we got ours completed. And um, yeah, the bingo's looking good. It's looking good. Okay, I don't know if this will do it. I've been doing some farming. I'm, I'm at 98.7% on our final wheat milestone. And uh, hopefully just by killing the pests that just spawned while I was farming this cactus field, we hit it. Uh, what did that post up to? 99.4. I literally think we need one more fly. Please tell... Here we go. There we go. Wheat 46. Don't mind if we do. That is our second max crop. Um, I can actually go ahead and swap off of flies now. I just haven't farmed it a little bit from when I made that video saying I was going to hit max fly bestiary. Uh, that was a while ago and literally just haven't farmed ever since then. But yeah, max wheat milestone. That's insane. Max sugar cane. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and swap over to beetles. Or which one drops pisterminator books actually? Because I wouldn't mind some extra ones. Uh, I feel like it's beetles. I could be wrong. Um... I am wrong. No, I'm not. Okay, yeah, it is beetles. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and swap over to that really quickly. Where are beetles? We need the one that give us beetles. There it is. Okay, not just a pest. Perfect. I'll get some more pest terminator books, but yeah, we are completely done with uh, the wheat milestone. That's huge. Hopping over to some mining now. Uh, Squid Kid is currently mining some ruby, and uh, his route happens to be next to this fairy grotto. So I sat here for... At least the last hour and a half, I'd say. It's it's not a very big one, but it is in the magma fields, which is kind of nice. And I went from having a million Jasper to 2.5 million. So if I go ahead and do recipe Jasper, the reason why this is exciting is because I think this is going to be the last perfect Jasper I need for my entire Necron set, which is kind of huge. So hopefully I didn't miscalculate and we do have enough. I think we have exactly enough. One, two, three, four, five... We have exactly enough Jasper. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can call up Fred the Foreman real quick at the Forge. Um, we can. Okay, perfect. I do have gemstone mixtures in here. I need to take those out. I should have a Jasper crystal. Please tell me I do. I do. Right? Yes. Okay, beautiful. So, we actually have a Jasper crystal. We have five flawless Jaspers. We can go ahead and forge this up. It'll take about 14 hours. That's actually not too terrible. I swear it was like 20 before. Did they change it? That's kind of insane. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and forge this up real quick. And, uh, that should be the last perfect Jasper I need for my entire Necron set. So, uh, obviously no gemstone slots on the Necron head, but we have perfects on our chest plate, leggings, and it's the last one for our boots. So that is actually really sick. Finally, a complete set of perfect Jaspers. Um, yeah, that took a while. I'm probably gonna go back to farming or do something else because, uh, I'm tired of mining the same four veins in this little tiny fairy grotto. Oh my goodness. 
I don't think you guys understand how unlucky I've been with overgrown grasses. And this guy right here, uh, no pun intended, has one, dude. Oh my god, please just give me that. Just, oh wait, I don't even have enough. Uh, six red mushroom blocks. Recipe, mush. Made six. Surely I have enough for six. I do. God bless. Okay, huge. Huge. That's only my fourth one. Let that sink in for a second. Uh, I only now have enough for a full set. And not only that, I want five. Like, I have fermento boots and rancher boots. I'm probably going to put this on rancher boots. I don't know, though. Like, I I use my fermento boots a ton to farm... Uh, melon and pumpkin, but I use this for every other crop in the game. I think I have to put it on my rancher boots, but this is only our fourth overgrown grass. And uh, for reference, we're nearly at 5,000 visitors accepted, and I've den I used to deny a good bit of them, and now obviously I try and accept every single visitor, but oh, that's actually so huge. I haven't seen an overgrown grass in forever. Well, let's go ahead and slap this on 300,000 coins. Uh, we're gonna go from currently bustling is giving me eight farming fortune. If we go and do overgrown grass, uh, that right there, we're now getting 25 and some speed. So, yeah, that's just so much better. Finally, mossy on four full pieces. Still need another one for, for the fermento boots. Hopefully, we don't go as long as we did this time because it's been forever. It's literally been forever since I've seen one of those. But that is so huge. Um, yeah, that's massive. We just need one more. That's that's. That's amazing. I know we're kind of jumping all around, but we're back on the bingo because Oringo is here, and I've done some preparation. So first things first, let me go ahead and grab out two stacks of raw chicken, just like so. Beautiful. That's what we need. And uh, if we go ahead and talk to our boy Oringo here, we can actually go and buy the common tiger pet, which is two stacks of raw chicken, 10,000 coins, and that'll be another pet that we can actually go and put in. That is our fifth one uh, out of 12 that we need. Now, I looked ahead because I can call Oringo on my Abbey phone on my other profile, and uh, he told me that there was going to be a rare elephant, which requires 16 enchanted dark oak wood and 100,000 coins. And I figured, you know what? That is not bad. It actually took me like 10 minutes to get all the dark oak I needed, which was ridiculously quick. And 100,000 coins we just have lying around. So we're going to buy a rare elephant. That is another pet crossed off our list. If we head back over to our bingo island real quick, though, I'm falling into the void. Okay, I didn't grapple hook far enough. That's um, it's unlucky. It was strategic, though, so I could spawn over here. Um, in this chest, I have a bunch of enchant eggs. And I said we go ahead and craft a few of the pets that I can. Um, let's put this in the center. We're going to go and craft a Jerry pet. We got uncommon. Not too bad. Well, it doesn't really matter the rarity. Craft a rabbit. Also another uncommon. Craft a silverfish. That one we get the common on. So if we go ahead and consume these pets really quickly, I'll kind of uh, lay out my strategy for the last few. So we're currently at 9 out of 12. We only need three more. Now, one of the ones I plan on crafting is a pig pet. I literally just need to go and get uh, two and a half more stacks of raw pork chop. I'll probably go do that right now and craft it. But the other two I'm going to craft is a chicken pet and a skeleton pet because I'm going to have these minions down for a minute, so I may as well. Like this one, I may as well just let keep chugging away until we get a chicken pet. And then we're going to have so many bones from going for 47,500 collection that we'll be able to craft a skeleton pet. And that'll be our last three that we need for this goal. So that goal will be completely done taken care of I don't have to lose my mind getting an enderman pet after all but um yeah happy that that worked out this goal is basically almost done oh my god another one another overgrown grass I, it has like i don't even know how long it's been but it has not been long like at all since our last one dude i only had three before this you're telling me i just get my fourth and my fifth like probably an hour apart no joke like two at most that is absurd that is actually absurd well don't mind if we do. Um, wow. See, if I was, like, that, that's 100 mil worth of, like, stuff in, like, however long. That's so ridiculous. Well, um, that's going on our fermento boots. No questions asked. Um, yeah, don't mind if we do. Oh, I need 600K. Let's grab out 450 real quick. 450K. Uh, 460, I guess. Oops. All good. But let's slap this in the hex. Dude, that is so insane. Okay, well. We have all the mossy and overgrown grass we need. That is so ridiculous. Wow, wow, wow. Our fourth and our fifth, like, on the same day. Like, from nearly 5,000 visitors accepted. We got three. And then, uh, yeah, now, like, in the last, like, ten visitors, we got, a lot, like, fourth and fifth. That's so absurd. Wow. 
We popped off. We actually just popped off. So I just hit a Cocoa Bee milestone. I fixed up my farm a little bit. Uh, I kind of left it really scuffed. Um, basically, I had the doors on the wrong side, so I put the doors on both sides. So now, for example, once we get to the end here, we come across. It actually lines me up with the edge instead of it lining me up like here. And then I kind of have to like readjust. And then all the way down on this end, if we fly over here super quick, um, I put trap doors against the walls on this side. So now... Instead of it pushing me like here, and I'm kind of re-breaking like the baby ones like this, um, it actually pushes me to here because of like this trap door. And this, so it keeps me mainly hitting like the actual cocoa beans instead of baby ones. Much more efficient. Highly recommend if you don't have that on your farm, you should add that a uh, little bit of a little bit of a tip. But yeah, we are now to cocoa bean 28. Trying to recover this thing from being my worst crop to one of my better ones. And it dropped squash, which is good, which we need a ton of for the composter. Like... I'm only at 68, but I went up a decent amount during this whole milestone, which is really good. And then something I want to do, because obviously I've been mainly focusing on composter upgrades, but I need so much squash to really progress in these other ones. And these other ones require me to like go way out of my way farming crops that don't really benefit me right now, like mainly sugarcane. So I think we're going to go ahead and actually spend some of our copper on some green thumb books. We're actually going to buy four of these things today. I have over 6,000 copper. I literally had none when I started today, so we've been farming for a minute. But let's go ahead and buy four of these. One, two, three, and four. We'll slap these into the anvil to make a green thumb three book. And we'll be able to upgrade our last piece to green thumb four, which is really good. It's only halfway, I know, but I mean, better than leaving this one at green thumb three and these other ones on four. So I figured, you know what, let's just add these together, get this to green thumb four. Now our full set is at least green thumb four. Uh, we still have some work to do, but yeah, pretty happy with that. And now I'm back to having no copper. So I gotta, gotta get back to some visitors, I can't lie. But pretty happy with that, no complaints. And uh, yeah, another crop milestone. So that's a Skyblock XP. So unfortunately, I think that is gonna do it for today's video. We got really busy today though, I'm gonna be honest. I mean, from hitting milestone 46 on wheat to dropping two overgrown grasses, we mined a perfect Jasper for our forge, Finished a bunch of bingo goals that we needed to, and we're now in a really good spot to just have bingo kind of auto-complete itself through our minions. But yeah, what a day. A lot happened. Some RNG along the way. I, I really can't complain. Overall, pretty solid day on Skyblock. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Use code Zach whenever you find yourself checking out in the Hypixel store. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I can't wait to see you guys in tomorrow's video. So I guess I'll see you guys there. Take care and peace out.